I don't use anything fancy to apply my CA on. This is just a kitchen towel, roll of kitchen towels. And you can buy a dollar a roll. They're a dollar a roll at the uh, the bargain shop. If you have any problems getting them, just give us a, send us, shoot us an email and and I'll uh, send you some up if, if, if you need to. Um, I fold, I get two squares, fold it in half, and I fold in to make that pattern. I then just use a, a knife and I cut it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the, the last four are usually bigger than the first ten, two, four, six, eight, ten there, the first ten, so that means there's twenty coat of CA. So I'll grab this and I'll put that on the lathe. Back on the lathe, um, when you're applying CA it's important to just turn down your lathe. I'm fortunate I've got a very electronic variable speed lathe. I've got my ten sand. Um, I've got my sand, ten paper towels there. Um, it's when you're applying CA. It's very important to to turn the lathe down to about 300 revs. Sorry. It's, it's very important to turn it down to about 800 revs per minute. Um, if you go too fast, you end up just flicking CA all over the, the shop. Um, to apply one coat of CA, three drops is all you need for each barrel. One and two for the, for the second barrel. Once the CA is applied, just a quick shot of, of accelerator and and then you've got your second coat. One, two, three coat, three drops, and two drops on the second one. Three, and then the towel goes in the bin. So, three drops. One, two, three. One, two. The reason why I, I use the first half of the towel for the first coat and the second half of the towel on the second coat. The reason why I put three coats on the first one is I just want that two coats just isn't enough because the towel absorbs a bit of the, the CA and that's why we only need two drops for the second barrel. One, two, three. One, two. I used to use super thin CA to apply this on but I found this new stuff which is just a tiny bit thicker than super thin CA. Um, thin C super thin CA has a, con has a consistency like methylated spirits. It's, it's uh, very very runny, much more runnier than water and it just seems to dry too quickly on the towel and the towel goes hard and sets before you've even got a, a chance to, to take the towel off. Uh, with this CA that I've found, I just find it just gives me that few seconds more just to, to get the coat on. As you can see, 20 coats of thin CA sounds like it's a lot of work, but it's actually quite quick. Um, how many have I done already? I've already done 9 coats. Uh, you may not want to do 20 coats. I've Sometimes when I'm in a bit of a rush, I, I'll even put 10 coats on or, or, or um, 10 thicker coats on. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I'm working through the. I'm just not in, not standing in my usual position, so I'm not as quick as what I normally am. Uh, the camera and the tripod is interfering with uh, the 
the way I normally work. I've got a bin just on my left hand side where I chuck all the the towels. And as you can see it's it's pretty quick. Um, if you don't know that the aerosol that I'm using is an aerosol activator called Mitofix. Uh, we use the thick CA that comes in that pack to glue in the brass tubes and I use the actual aerosol accelerator to activate the CA when I'm putting the finishes on my pen. Mitofix is the, the cheapest and most efficient solution that I've found so far. If I some, find something better, I'll let everyone know about it. But you don't need much activator. Two quick bursts per coat is all you need. Okay, that's 20 thin coats of CA. Stop the lathe. Nice and shiny. Now what we do is we now go back and we buff it and put a high gloss finish on it.